pasada tenemos realidades bien diferentes de, de la línea para allá, para acá. We have down here uh, realities that are very, very different than, than what's north of that line. En, en la forma en que, en que vemos la vida, las personas, la familia. Uh, in, in, in various areas of life, in the family, uh, in, 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 in personality, individual. The United States-Mexico border was formed in 1948 under the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. This was the end of the Mexican-American War. Mexico surrendered half of its territory. The biggest impact is the sediment that's coming through. Okay. Um, I was telling him earlier that if you go over, just go around this road a little ways, you'll see these huge basements, or basins rather, which capture sediment comes from Mexico. It's mainly because of all the construction they're doing on that side. Just like we do over here. It's the yeah. same kind of cut and fill kind of construction. And it produces a lot of sediment. Plus a lot of their, their hillsides are not stabilized. So you'll see a lot of sediment come down. And lots of times they'll put up tires in stair-stepping all the way up the hillside. You'll see just tons of tires in those bas basins. Wow. Um, because they won't get washed away. And if you went down to the Gulf of Mexico, you wouldn't see the river go in it because there's no water. <laughs> it's yeah. all taken away upstream. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would say probably the worst thing is habitat destruction. Uh, that's why you have it. There are two chief reasons behind securing the border between Mexico and the United States. They are illegal immigration and drug trafficking. In the border town of Ciudad Juarez, the last three months have been a bloodbath with over 210 lives taken. Five million illegal immigrants have entered the United States over the past eight years. Living conditions in Mexico are inadequate in comparison to the United States and unemployment rates are skyrocketing. One of the few jobs available in the border region is working out of Maquila, which is an industrial factory. Mexico's second largest income is money being sent home from the United States. Over 80% of agriculture workers are Mexican immigrants, being paid on average $6 an hour. <laughs> okay. Yo estaba trabajando eh, limpio casas. Um, entonces ya veníamos en, en la carretera. Cuando en el carro pasamos así y uno de migración pasó junto a otro. Me dijo el de migración que me pusiera a pensar que si mi hermana no estuviera ahí, ¿quién me iba a cuidar a mis hijas? Fue lo que dijo, que pensara que no estaba bien que yo estuviera en de Grega, en este país. Y este, igual nos subió, uh, nos llevó a una que está ahí en, en, en Murrieta, Murrieta. Ahí nos detuvieron desde las 12 del día hasta las 12. Y ya este, después nos subieron a un camión, pero se paran a los hombres en un tren, tienen como celda el camión. Y echan para atrás a todos los hombres y les cierran. ¿Camión? Eso, ¿Como troca o como vas? Y ya después nos, nos bajaron ahí en Chulavista. ¿sí? Y ahí nos tuvieron... 
Under the Secure Fence Act of 2006, the United States Department of Homeland Security was instructed to guard 700 miles of the 2,000 mile border with a high security fence. This act sanctioned more vehicle barriers, checkpoints, and permits the Border Patrol to use cameras, satellites, and helicopters to reinforce the infrastructure of the border. Yeah. See those two ladies walk up? Yeah. Well, we got camping. Uh huh. But we didn't actually see them cross. Uh huh. I was down there. Uh huh. I like these two that came down from this canyon. So, I was taking care of them on my way back up. I didn't come back the way I went down, so I, yeah. went, I came back up that way, and they're walking. But I've been keeping an eye on who's up here. Uh -huh. So, I, I know they, you know, I didn't, I never saw them come in, so they had to have come you know, the fence here. Uh -huh. So, I just stopped, and I'm like, ladies, where'd you come from? And they're like, you know, they don't know where they came from. It's like, oh, down there. It's like, what, did you park down here? Yeah, but right down here in this parking lot, they, they can't see it. They're like, yeah, well, they don't let cars in. That's the, what we call the iron gates. So I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, so I tell them, like, nobody parks down here. They don't let cars in. They're like, oh, uh, no, we parked at the other parking lot. Okay, who we'll is your car? I don't know. You don't know what color your car is? What kind of car is it? I don't know. My boyfriend dropped me off. I thought you said you parked there. It's just... Got to build up your probable cause. Sure. And after that, they just admitted themselves. Like, okay, you got us. We can cross the border. And then what happens? Well, they get taken to the station. Uh huh. What happens? Roll their fingerprints. Uh, they take a picture of them. We identify them. It's a database that, you know, like the FBI, the DEA, it's all connected. So any, any kind of record that they have will show up on our system too. Uh -huh. Uh, that's pretty much it. Mexico is a developing third world country bordering an industrialized first world country. And this, along with the 18 foot high fence, appears to be what is causing apprehensions on both sides. Mm -hmm.